Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, today's been one of those rough days and stuff, and hopefully, hopefully I've got this right. You know, it's funny because I have a streaming deck for the live stream studio here, and there's uh, two buttons at the top. One is for record. One is go live. If you push the go live, it automatically goes straight to YouTube. And last couple of times I've been actually trying to do uh, some videos, I've been hitting the go live thinking that I'm actually recording a video. So sorry for the confusion there. Hopefully I've got the record right this time. I need to put like a, a piece of paper and something over to say, hey, dummy, don't hit this one. So we have some more news. And of course, da 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 Damn, Gina. Okay. It's been a, a tragic, sad day because uh, Dwayne Haskins, whether you liked him or didn't like him and his ability on the field, he's still a human being. And it's tragically, he is no longer with us. We're still trying to find out what was going on and why he was actually on the interstate there um, and got hit uh, 445 this morning. I'm sorry, 545 this morning on Interstate 595 in Fort Lauderdale. Um, he was down in Fort Lauderdale with some of his teammates, including Mitch Trubisky and Najee Harris and some others, uh, working out and you know building team camaraderie and getting ready for the season. And um, from reports of what we've actually heard about um, him, he, you know, of course, was a, uh, kind of a disappointment for being a first-round draft pick but was learning to become a great teammate and uh, a great guy on the team and was well-liked. In fact, um, some of the players came to the defense and basically kind of bitch-slapped um, Adam Scheffner as well as Gil Bryant um, comments. Um, Adam Schefter, of course, in comparison to what Gil Brandt said, was kind of minor in, in his comments. Um, Gil Brandt, um, we played, uh, in an earlier video, his comments that were just way, way out of line, um, about it, within the last hour, he has actually tweeted out an apology and this is exactly what he has actually said this morning while learning of Dwayne Haskins passing, I reacted carelessly and sensibly on a radio interview. I want to apologize to Mr. Haskins family and anyone who heard my poor choice of words. I truly apologize. My heart goes out to the family at this difficult time. Um, I think, I, I'm not sure if this is really from the heart or this is really from somebody got to hold of him and said, dude, you want to keep a job on the radio? You need to go ahead and make amends for your comments because this is just way, way out of bounds. I, I you know, I don't care who it is that, that passes. On the day that they pass, you don't go through to talking about draft parties and things like that. Or, you know, like Adam Schefter, that, you know, he struggled to get on with the Washington football team and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And so, you know, Adam Schefter, we could say you struggle at actually telling the truth. How about that one? Because, you know, you've been kind of caught on a whole lot of things out there that have been – Kind of the truth has been stretched, we'll, we'll say. Uh, we'll kind of say that. But I think the reality is, is we're hearing, you know, a lot of cam uh, combination. Uh, excuse my language. Uh, I'm always butchering the King's English or is it the Queen's English? I, I don't know. I, I'm butchering everybody's English. How about that? But this was actually Des Bryant. And Des Bryant is becoming a, a voice of reason because – he understands how you get slandered in the media because Des Bryant has been one of those guys that Adam Schefter has kind of trashed. You may recall back when Des Bryant was working on getting a new contract from the Cowboys. All kinds of things were brought out about Des Bryant, you know, attacking his character and things, including um, Mike Furio saying that there might be, and this is where it's kind of crazy, there might be a tape of Des Bryant out there 10 times worse than Ray Rice's. Well, quite frankly, there might be a tape out there of every single one of us. Doesn't mean there is, but they really slandered his name. And this was Des Bryant 
um, earlier. And this may be one of those cases why uh, Gil Brandt kind of said he's sorry. When we talking athletes, it's always going to be a serious matter with me because of the shit that I know that we go through. That shit Adam Scheffner said, that shit Gil Brandt said, that's why I don't love it. That's why I don't. That's why I chose the path that I chose. Can I still play? You fucking right. But I don't love it. I hate how we mistreat it. I hate it. And I hate that. What I really hate the most is some of you athletes who see that shit don't even speak up. Like for real, I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart. We need each other more than you think. Because they sure take care of they they take care of themselves. And we need to start fucking doing that. My integrity worth more than any type of fucking money. Because if you that if your ass fucked around and be mentally ill and fucked up, you can't spend it anyway. Take care of yourself and take care of each other, man. Come on, wake the fuck up. Wow. So that's some strong words from, from Des Bryant. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that, that's kind of crazy where we went with this, but you know, again, at least I guess we can say there's an apology there. We can say, say there's apology there. I I guess we can say, sorry about that. Um, I don't know. This is one of those ones that you kind of say, you were saying what you felt from the beginning, so I, I just don't know where to go with this. And just a, a tragic day just seems to get more and more tragic by the minute. But there is a, a kind of a double standard out there, you know, um, with players versus, say, ownerships and things. You know, you never get given the benefit of the doubt as the player and stuff or compassion, and that's where – this whole thing just seems kind of crazy that, you know, here it is, you know, he's gone. And, and you look at words from his teammates, um, like TJ Watt, the world's lost a great person today. When Dwayne first walked in the locker room, I could tell he was an upbeat guy. He was always making people smile, never taking life for granted. His impact on me will last forever. And see, those are the things that we should be talking about on a day like today. Um, as opposed to the negative things. Because, you know, I can guarantee you there are things that every single one of us have done in their past that, you know, we, it, it, that's one of those things that I did was stupid when I was young. And I know, I've you know, they didn't call me Crazy Mark because <laughs> he was just crazy funny. I, they called me Crazy Mark because I was just plain stupid. And things that I look back on that I did in my younger days, I could say, man, what the hell was I thinking? But that's not the person that I am now. And that's what we have to understand with um, life and things. Everybody, and I mean every single one of us, make mistakes or don't live up to expectations. It doesn't mean that we're a bad person and we deserve to be trashed. You know, don't look at what I've done in the past, look at the person that I'm trying to become and the person I have become and don't hold those grudges. As always, I appreciate you guys. And I'm hoping that, you know, this whole thing somehow gets, you know, it gets some positives from this and, um, I'll see you soon.